absolute delight for Ericsson to be here present at LEAP 2022. The minute we knew of the organization of this conference, we jumped in and we have committed all our effort and resources to be here and to contribute as an ICT leading vendor to the Vision 2020 of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We have been privileged as well that we were given the keynote speech by our Ericsson Group President and CEO. And throughout these days, we have met and collaborated with our partners in the Kingdom. We have discussed a lot of new initiatives and ideas that we can bring together. In particular, a big focus on how 5G, the support of other technologies like cloud, AI and others, could really revolutionize not only for consumer, but even more so now for industries and enterprise. At our booth, we have multiple such showcases on how we can increase the productivity, let's say in healthcare or in mining or manufacturing plants, how you can actually build automation to reduce costs, and most importantly, how you can bring a sense of sustainability to all of that. The Kingdom is really engaging on a super exciting now vision, which Ericsson is very keen to be contribute with the support of our partners in Saudi Arabia. It's been a real pleasure to be here, and we are really looking forward to LEAP 2023. Really excited to be here in Riyadh for the LEAP event, meeting partners and industry players, ministers, and uh, from all the different customers, we've received a lot of interesting communications and uh, discussions around how Ericsson, as a partner, making a difference in the kingdom. So, basically here in Ericsson, we, we want to show the industry, businesses and consumer how they could leverage on the 5G. I would really encourage them to visit Ericsson booth to see the endless capability of the 5G. It is really an amazing event here, and I would encourage anybody to visit Ericsson booth here. It's an absolute pleasure to be here in Riyadh, welcoming you from LEAP. Uh, today we had the pleasure to sign with STC to M one MOU and one uh, PR around 5G standalone and improving Riyadh performance to the next level. Uh, this demo is uh, then Ericsson's network exposure function. Uh, it's basically exposed the capabilities of 5G as well as to uh, enhance uh, the user experience to help the operator monetize the assets and uh, it helps the GPP applications to uh, create uh, more use cases as well as to enhance the user experience. connects all of these things together is communications and reliable communications and that's what we in Ericsson provide and are working with our operators in this market to enable for Saudi Arabia.